So this is going to be a bit of documentation for CPM for the Commodore 64. Um, I got it back in September, something like that, at a, at AmigaCon. And I was wondering how would you run software on it, like Zork. Well, it turns out it's a little bit more intuitive, at least to my knowledge, than I originally thought because I finally got a floppy with Zork on it that I can actually use to load up the game. Now how do we go about that? Well, you're going to need something like a Pi 1541 or if I can get it all loose Pi 1541 or the other one that plugs in your cartridge and serial port. I don't remember what its name is, but you're going to need one of those, especially if you want to copy it to an actual 1541. Now, if we head over to the computer. Once you move over to your PC, you want to go to Firefox or whatever your browser is. You want to go to this link here. And also, you want to be on. You, uh, Linux virtual machine or you, Windows subsystems something with Linux in it you're gonna want to download this this program well I didn't mean to exit out of it you wanna to go to this you're gonna download the source code you're going and then you're gonna go over here to your downloads you're gonna extract the file you're going to go in here you're gonna make the file once you've made C tools and then inside the bin file there's going to be a list of the tools you can transfer it to your bin like your down to earth very at the very bottom of your system bin file um, I would access it but I don't know how to with Ubuntu's this stupid menu anyways once you do that you're gonna open up your terminal and then with Zork, I'm going to use Zork for this because that's what we were using earlier. You're going to open up the terminal inside of Zork. You're going to do C tools or Gish, hold on. I'm going to use this because it's a good reference for me. C format. minus zero. Now if you have something else that's like um, if you want to do this for your Commodore 128 there is like C uh, minus one or minus two I think uh, minus two is double sided, double density. If you have a 128 you can do that but I just have a 64. You're going to name your file we're gonna do Zork 2 I haven't done Zork 2, so I'm going to try that one out. Dot, dot D64, so that our emulator can actually read it. It's going to perform it, and then when it's done, if you don't transfer this to your bin directory, you can just fi uh, find where it's at, drag it to here. So pretend, pretend this is the bin, the file drag it here that'll work for C format or t C tools either one <coughs> we're gonna go back to Zork this is good to have open just so you can read the names and type it in once so then we're gonna go to C tools We're going to go zor.com.64, uh, D64, my bad. I'm really screwing up right now. I'm just trying to make this as quick as possible. So there's going to be so many errors, but this is just for doc the sake of documentation. Gonna do P for place 
and then the files you want to place inside there. Don't be putting all of Zork in there. I tried that and that totally screwed. Uh, there was too much inside of the file. So we're just going to work with Zork 2. I also screwed up again. Zork 2. Then we're going to type in Zork, uh, capitalize Zork 2 dot com and then zork2 dot data or dat then it'll put these files inside of this here so while editing this video real quick I forgot about getting your guys' software like where to get it I went to retroarchive dot org slash cpm slash game slash blah da 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 I'll put it in the description, but this is some like random software I found on the web from the previous tutorial that I was following, and just cat hello. Um, I downloaded the Zork one one two three dot eighty zip, and it came with all three versions of zip or Zork one two and three. Sorry, there's literally a cat in my face, but. I use that one so if you're a little confused on where I got it this is where I got it sorry for the confusion I'm gonna open it might be different for you if you have the other emulator thing that plugs into the cartridge slot but for the Pi 1541 I'm going to drop it, drop it inside of here you're gonna grab your disk or your disk file you're gonna drop it inside here then you can eject this disk here. I'm going to have to disconnect it all the way. Uh, it should be fine. So I'm going to disconnect it and then I'm going to move back over to the computer. Once you move over to your Commodore 64 and your emulator of your choosing, I'm going to load up Fast Hackem because it's the transfer utility that works for me. Once it's loaded up, I'm going to type in, I'm going to turn off the drive because it's a lot easier. I'm going to do the run stop, but you can also just type in whatever you need. Load, um, parentheses, asterisk, parentheses, comma 9, comma 1, or 8, comma 8, comma 1. Either way, uh, you're going to go to, I'm going to go to two drives. This may be different for transferring a disk. You may need help from somebody else to get your disks transferred over but I'm going to switch the working directory so that it's, the source is 9 because this is 9 destination is 8 which is this here the 1541 you see this floppy disk here I'm gonna turn it over because this side has Zork but this side has ladders but uh, ladders on here is broken I don't know why I'm going to put it down, I'm going to switch on the drive, so now it's started up, and I'm going to hit copy, insert diskets, then I'm going to back out of here, I'm going to go up, or I'm going to go down to CPM, Zork 2, I'm going to load that, Zork 2, the D64, now I'm going to hit return, and then the drive is going to work, and it's going to get the data from here, it's going to copy it over to the 1541, that way we can continue. And once it's done, I'm going to boot up CPM, and then try out the disk. For what felt like two minutes about it's finally finished the loading up and there we go we have cpm with zork i'm pretty sure you could play this on normal commodore but this is pretty much just a demonstration for yourself i left out a lot like compiling because there was issues for me compiling but i couldn't get it to compile on on my uh, after i finished compiling it so you're going to have to fill in the gaps with your own knowledge, unfortunately. 
But now we have Zork running. Now, um, uh, let's see. Pick, um, I have never played Zork, so I'm going to just try to figure this out. Pick up sword. I'm going to be honest, I don't know much about the text adventures, but we can try it. Worksmanship. And also, if you want everything in lowercase, I can't help you there. Because I don't even know. I'm not familiar with CPM. The most I've used it is on my Nabu and this. So, hey, look, we picked up the sword. It took a while because this drive is very slow, slow as wall, uh, molasses. But it works, you know? That's the best I could do for you. It's the little documentation that I've been able to find on it. I'm hoping that this video will help someone in the future. If there is questions, either DM me on Discord or send a comment and I'll try to reply and help you out. Anyways, that is all I have, and farewell.